Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fableheimen Age of Wonders for Dragon. Don Smaug the Terrible resumes his journey. Thank you all for your tremendous interest, support, and feedback in this series, for this series. I greatly appreciate it. And before we really hop into it today, there are just a few things I'd like to address very quickly. First of all, uh, a big question. Why is the king under the mountain not under the mountain? That's a great question. And uh, the answer is mostly I did an underground playthrough and it was, I didn't really enjoy it. But they have a kind of modified it in the Wyvern update. Like they put a bandaid over it. So I wanted to ask you, the next playthrough is going to be Eratus's return. Should we check out the band-aided, <laughs> the band-aided form of the underground? Or should I just wait until the free patch this summer, the water update, when they do an underground overhaul? Feel free to let me know. Second thing, thank you for the city name suggestions. I appreciate it. I loved the idea, excuse me, of naming all of our cities after the boy himself. Because that's something that Smaug would do. So Smaug's first city is just going to be called Smaug's Hold. We'll get around to... A long list of other ones. Well, depending on how high our city cap goes. Uh, one suggestion I got was to name it Dale, and that is quite lore accurate. That was the city-state of humans outside of the Lonely Mountain that Smaug destroyed twice, basically. And then there was the War of Five Armies, which I'm sure did it no good. But there is a reason I'm not going to do that. Thank you for the suggestion. I did see it. And lastly, I got a lot of suggestions on how to play this faction, this culture, the industrious peoples. Thank you for that. I read it all. And I think I absorbed it all. And a lot of it has to do with standing next to each other. And shield units. And being patient. <laughs> not always something I'm good at. And uh, you may not... I hope it wasn't too obvious. But last episode, on the first episode, I didn't have a great... My plan wasn't cemented for Smaug. And um, it is now. So thank you all for your suggestions. I was trying to, like, restrict myself pretty heavily on how I wanted to, you know, what I wanted to gain access to. And then I realized, wait a minute. I'm here to have fun. So, let's turn that dial up to 11, shall we? Uh, so we're going to do a lot of synergies. One such synergy, I'm glad I caught it in time, uh, is going to involve grabbing the Lesser Magma Spirit. The overall goal is going to be uh, decimating everything in fire and gold. That's it. That's the plan. How we get there? Well, there are a few paths we can get there. Uh, that is the plan. The plan, yes. Now we must do the plan. And another thing is, I was suggested to grab some steel shapers because um, they could be very good, despite the crap I was talking about them. And someone suggested I go do the... This one, the Tome of Warding, because this will give them the ability to apply bolstered resistance on top of bolstered defense, which also is something we can manipulate with a few things. And that's an interesting idea. We might actually do this. I don't think I've ever taken this. This gives us the Phantasm Warrior, which back in the day, in Age of Wonders 3, this was a horrifying unit. I hated fighting it. It was still tier one, but it was a monstrosity. It just stunned you all the time. I hated it. I don't think we're going to pop out the Phantasm Warrior, but it would kind of make sense if Smaug could protect the Dwarves from magic, right? Sort of? Kind of? Maybe. Also, in prospecting, um, it's good. Our horde is tremendously strong. I was informed that I could probably just, like, put my scouts on auto and check on them every other turn or so to see if they we're able to prospect stuff instead of doing it all manually because this is what this campaign is. Just me prospecting right now. But I think for a little bit longer, we're... Uh-oh. I think you're dead. I think for just a little bit longer, we will do all of this manually. Should I just sack this? Oh, you can't reach! <laughs> That's what you get for getting foot units in the mountain. Hi! Yeah. Okay. That's... Mm, yeah. Mm, okay. This is the new young dragon unit, and we will be bringing out dragons. Because, uh, you know, 
as I mentioned, we're here to have fun. And I realized that if we were playing Smaug in this manner, Smaug would kind of be like the dwarves or whatever. They're my servants, and I'm going to turn them into gold because I like gold. And meanwhile, he would try to revive the dragons under his command, I think. Maybe. Possibly. That would be his true faction. And I want to check out the Obsidian Dragon. This is the new, one of the two new dragons in the game. It does lightning damage. You get this if you are this amount of evil or lower. On the flip side, you can get Golden Dragons if you are this amount of good. Or, you know, the equivalent. Are you my friends? I think you are. Enchanted Crow Companion is ready. This will give our scouts vision. Look at their little crow companions. Also thinking Lord of the Rings. Ah, uh, yes, we should take a look at our diplomatic situation because Alex Straza, touched by the whispers of the old gods, loved that comment, uh, is our friend. We may not be so different after all, Smaug. Your actions are promising. By all means, do continue. She likes that I have an empire with a single race. That's not a very Alex Straza thing, but I'll take it. <laughs> That's fine. Would you like a defensive pact? You wouldn't mind it. I have 38 items. Cool, cool. How about information? Informacion. Oh, I like gold. Gold is good. There you go. Sure. I could have gotten 80 friendship for that, but no. Smaug would not sell information for anything less than a lot of gold. So we saw Alex Ross with the Life Binder. She likes us. Uh, despite the fact that I am mildly evil. Blint, the Underdelver, is also here. And guess what? He likes us too. We are both money-grubbing sods. So, it makes sense. Whether we ally with him or not, it's to be seen. Malifor, the Dark Master, does not particularly like me, but he doesn't particularly dislike me either. Ten shadow, and you go for the astral aspect, of course. Technically, Maldifor could use, like, all the elements, I think, in Spyro, so it really didn't matter what he did here. Whereas, Alex Straza's next transformation is going to be very important, as is yours. Miss Ysera the Awakened, my first rival. Thankfully, I fabricated a grievance, and it's quite good. We could even declare war if we wanted to. We'll see about that. And last, but certainly not least, is Lansax, the ancient dragon from Elden Ring, who is whatever about us. He did go for the... is that Materium? Eh, not the most relevant aspect for him. Basically, the only thing we know about Lansax is he has red lightning. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens there. We do know there is one more player down here, and we are missing one dragon and one champion. You're all caught up. This is a pretty good army. Now, for the double steel shapers, the reason why I want two of them is because their buff, their bolster buff, and their heal, which converts the bolster buff, are on the same cooldown. So the commenter was saying that you could just kind of go back and forth. One can buff, one can convert it, and the other one can then later convert a buff. And that makes sense to me. The only downside, of course, is that you would need to have your other four units be very good combatants. You know, kind of like a dragon. So it makes sense to me. Our horde, by the way, bringing in 98 gold and 88 mana. I'm not sure why the values are different, to be honest, but yeah, that's what it is. All right, let's clear this up, stuff out as we go. You almost killed my Aaron Golem. Oh, I should have moved one. Can I move further? I know what happened. The unicorn bopped in behind our lines with its phasing crap. Alrighty. Well. I think Smaug. I uh, can just go be annoying, honestly. Thankfully, Smaug does recover quite a lot. Only the unicorn can hit him from here. Wait, nope. Old cheese tactics. 
I say old. It was just, like, patched. But it's already dated. Oh, oh, oh. Um, so we're going to go over here to at least provide a shield. In case the AI wants it. Oh, I come in with all action. Po oh, my goodness gracious. Was this nerfed or was it buffed? The world may never know. It was obviously nerfed, but now that it comes with a comes in with all AP. That's pretty good. Yes, by standing together, we grow stronger. That's what that weird effect is, that metal anvil sounding thing. I will breathe fire on you. I'll do it. Tell me I won't. Not from here, though. I'm looking for the perfect angle. Oh, that's better. Would it be better to go back here and get a tail smack, though? Hmm. That is a good question. I have been advised, and uh, it's a great suggestion, to... Oh, look at that. Smog. We could even do this. This feels like a bad idea. But I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> I have been advised to go into warfare. Oops. Well, because from there, we can I have to tie up this thing. Uh, we can get killing momentum. Which, as you can imagine, would be pretty amazing. Unfortunately. Beautiful. Not in a great spot with these characters, but they are kind of wounded, so they don't have to be in a great spot. They just have to be out there. It might be worth... Yeah, sure. I was say maybe we heal our little... Our little anvil guard here. I probably should have. That's okay. The Zealot was stunned by our Astral Hearts. Swiggity swooty! Coming for that booty! Well done, my brave champion. You do no damage. Hey, Smaug, what you doing? Breathing fire? That's cool. That's, that's cool. Yeah, you took a lot of, a uh, little bit of beat in there, buddy. The retaliation was cancelled. But, I have to kill this. So. Dunk. And that, my friends, is a glorious GG. Took a little bit of damage there, but in the end, no big deal. Bonk. to spearhead is is good oh i can't move one more tile it's fine this army does actually heal quite a bit well at least smog does because of the order plenty with the ring of regeneration we are level 11 uh that's plus 30 hit points i'm interested yeah killing momentum would be amazing for us <laughs> we gain one action point when killing another unit it does work only once, so I can't, like, tail swipe multiple people and get multiple AP, but that would still be pretty good. We could, like, single down a person and then tail swipe with that single AP if we wanted to. Lots of options. Lots of options. Also, a sprinting dragon. Hilarious. But probably just fighting. We also get bolstering for defense. We have to get six points for this. Which is a lot. But I think first we just get 30 hit points. That brings us up to, what, 160? Not bad. Not bad. And now it's time for the part everyone... Oh, I could have gotten knowledge. For everyone's favorite part. Prospecting. As someone mentioned that, um... Like, prospecting is really strong early on, but it kind of falls off in value. And... Numerically, like the amount of gold and the amount of production we're getting. I don't disagree. But the items are almost invaluable for us. Invaluable isn't accurate. Hello. 
Who did we meet? The final dragon lord, well met, king out of the mountains, Smaug the Terrible. I am Archdemon Earthemiel the Fallen. Prove your strength to me, and we may yet conquer this realm together. A militant warlord. So this is Earthemiel, also known as the Archdemon. In Dragon Age Origins, the Archdemon was the fallen god Earthemiel, the Tementor god of beauty. And uh, he was a giant, ugly-looking, decaying dragon. And I did my best to replicate it. It's hard to see with this weird fog thing going on, but I think he looks pretty good. He leads the Darkspawn, which are, of course, Orcoid Barbarians that are ritual cannibals and ruthless raiders. This is the other faction I mentioned that would make sense for them to be chosen destroyers, because their goal is literally to destroy everything, basically. But, I thought... The Darkspawn don't really... I mean, they do destroy stuff, right? But their focus is to destroy other living things, not everything. Whereas Malifor wanted to literally destroy the world and make it over again. So, I thought it would make sense for them to be both Ritual Cannibals and Ruthless Raiders. Also, that's a very good combination. It's strong. Militant Warlord means that he likes empires that are at war. He likes empires that start wars. He dislikes empires with a mili weaker military, and he dislikes empires with good relations with free cities. One of these is not like the... Oh, he dislikes it. Okay, never mind. I thought he liked that for some reason. He is driven by war. He never surrenders. He aims to exterminate and to expand. Very accurate. Very accurate. I'm proud of the AI personality for good old Ethemio. I can't tell what he chose. Um, he does like me quite a lot. Do we befriend Ethemio? I'm not giving him gold, though. Please tell me. Oh, sweet mother of... Why would you choose order? Like, all of the other materiums kind of make sense. But order? Really? I should kill you just for that. More bastions. More, 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 more. Do we actually want to take this Smith's Guild? I've never done this before. Mostly because I hate building foresters. <laughs> oh wait, what am I talking about? We are building the Merchant's Guild. There is no question. So let's switch this to a gold mine. We could even switch this to a gold mine, to be honest. And we have a special gold mine. But I think I'm just going to build that on a tile. Um, okay, we're not getting the workers kill. We're not getting the smith kill. We're getting that. So we should grab the estate hall, I think. Maybe we just get a free... Yeah, okay. I'll work on those guys. Actually, we'll get this done first. The Vizard's Tower. How's our Imperium going? The Imperium has felt really, really lackluster. So I think what we should do is we should try and get a war going with Ysera. Ah, yes, our next Tier 2 Tome. So I, I hinted at what the Gnome was going to be. I don't really like our Tier 2 options, to be honest. Like, I think I am going to go with Tome of Winds in time, because Smaug mentions his win his wings are a hurricane. And, you know, some of, someone broke down some of the benefits of having the Tome of Winds, and I liked them. One such was Abducting Cyclone. The AI likes to stay, like, right outside of your range, but with this, you can pull them in. Um, unfortunately, right now, we don't have a whole lot of ways to manipulate that. But, of course, all this is just really good. And the Summon Wind Ranger will be helpful in time secrets. So keep this in the back of your mind. But I hinted at the Tome of Revelry, and we are in fact going to get this. And there is a very good reason, despite it maybe not making sense. Nothing instills more doubt in an enemy than a foe who revels in battle. The warriors who feast upon the carnage, they are the ultimate victors of war, no matter the outcome. Take glory in the fray, and care not who wins. So, we're here for the Skald. Okay, everyone knows that. The Skald is an amazing support unit that can fit with any faction, at any time, for any reason. Let's all just be honest with ourselves. 
also I happen to love this gold. But what do I need here? I'm not building a forester. Does it build more mines? I wouldn't mind some mana. We could turn this place into the mana gip. Mana, can I? Uh, there's not too many options. Ah, uh, we can try. Um, the Scald is an amazing support unit. And a fun discussion that always comes up is, is the Scald Slaneshi or is the Scald Cornate? And I think that if you want to discuss it intellectually, I imagine, the... It, there, it overlaps, right? Between the joy, the revelry, the debauchery, and just the bloodlust. But also, she's red. Open borders. Sure. Uh, and red is corn. Scarbrand loves red. Wait, hold on. How much are you using these for? I'm going to make all this money back in a single turn. Hey, yes, Alex Traza. How you doing? You have nothing to sell me? Is the AI not giving you its cheats? Come on, lady. Hop to it. Oh, look. <laughs> it's infinite now. They, This used to confuse me so much on whether it was just like for a few turns or whether it was just permanent. As long as the treaty is in effect, they have the item. And look, they put out an infinite sign to show that. Thank you, developers. Sorry, I'm silly and can't read properly. But yeah, good change, good change. We'll come over here to our support our king. Sure. Seems good. Uh, but also, Smaug never shies away from violence to get what he wants. So I thought it made sense to bring in revelry. We're not going to go heavy on revelry because revelry is like half to just typical bloodlust and half demon shenanigans and we're not doing demon stuff. So. Let's we'll get out on a lot of it. Nice. You bring in everything. Your troops rush a group of winged creatures, but notice that they neither attack nor retreat. Your foes fly around the area, flapping their wings and making alarmed noises. They do not wish to engage your superior numbers, but appear loath to retreat too. It seems they are protecting some nearby nests. Will you allow the airborne beasts to retreat with their eggs, or will you attack? Call them all. You almost killed my full health halberdier. Why is it acting like I still have immortals active? This guy 100% died. I don't know. That is most suspicious. But, thankfully, I have a new unit. Alright, this could be a tough fight. Let's see what the AI does. The AI loses one unit. Nah, we'll fight it. It's a, a magical material. Incorporated into our empire. Oh, is this the explosive one? <laughs> yeah. When a defending unit dies, all adjacent hostile units suffer 15 spirit damage and have a 90% base chance of suffering from condemned. Well, that sucks to suck. But, um... Yep, too bad. We're in. Someone left a comment saying that I got Bastions too, too quickly. And I was like, I can't tell if that's a compliment or saying that I, like, did something too soon. But uh, I'm going to take it as a compliment. So thanks. Uh, these halberdiers could be exceptionally vital. Could be. Nice. Yes. Why not line up for the dragon bread? Why not? Oh, I can't quite reach. You're too slow, lady. You know who can reach? <laughs> this guy. That is so good. I almost like this more. Alright, let's see if I can 
Yeah, everybody gets breathed on. <laughs> yeah. Let's get a bastion in there. Uh, I probably should have done this first, but it's fine. We're here to defend, you know. We should definitely leave an opening for our champion, which I don't think I've done at all. I have not been impressed by the pyromancers. Like, I realize that's a tier 4 unit, right? That, that guy. But I've just not been impressed. I hope you can't fly over and kill my golem. That would be very unfortunate. I also just realized something. Um, the shrine is going to get quite a lot of value. If I'm not careful. Go there. Fortunately, eh, whatever. All right, so the AI does. Ooh, we got a stun. There it is. Oh, I'm glad I healed. Yes, unicorn. Yes, what could go wrong? <laughs> Beautiful. Marvelous. Alright, get our AoEs. From the Pyromancers, which is honestly the best part about them. Alright, my king. Shall we eat something? Oh, that's a tier 4 unit. I can't eat tier 4s. Hmm. I could try and get behind. Oh no. Funk. <laughs> I moved you in position. Calculated. Um. So if you go back, can you guys still get in? Not worth it. There we go. Bunk. Under defense. Giant Slayer. Some good bonks here. Um, you're just chilling out with our guys, I guess. Hmm. I guess we'll do it this way. We'll cancel that guy's retaliation, then kill him with you. There's gonna be the explosion. Then you guys kill this. We're getting a lot of value out of that explosion. We could... Yeah, sure, whatever. Nice. All right, time to eat this. Well, not literally, because it's a tier 5 unit, but you know what I mean. They claw out to death. GG. Any knowledge. Now I gotta go clear this. This should be easy. We'll heal up for a turn. How you doing? So there's one person left to find. And it is beyond ironic that the final character is the final character. Which will make sense later. Look at all these items. Every item is just money. Money city. It's beautiful. So this is who? Ah, this is Alex Straza. Wait, is your city named Orleans? Orleanus. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh... Neither really makes sense, to be honest. Ooh, there's a tower there. You're chilling. So if I had to guess... Our final opponent is in this southwestern corner. If I had to guess. Do I... Just take this? Oh, look, Arthemiel is slowly moving over the mountains. Oof. Yeah, this mountainous terrain is really screwed over the AI. But I don't feel bad about it. So here are the steel shapers that I've been ignoring to build. They can ground defense. So with that warding tome, they'd be able to do both, both two bolstered defense and two bolstered resistance, which could be quite powerful. They can convert bolstered defense and resistance, and for each stack, they gain... They heal for eight, and they gain one strengthened. So you can give... 50% increased damage 
to someone very easily with the warding tome. Which I think is why it was mentioned they're powerful. Or at least, you know, decent. And their single target attack is okay. That's 16. Not too bad. Master Magma Spirit is in. Uh, I guess you just go Blood Fury Weapons. Archon Blood has been acquired, giving us... I'll find it. 20 combat casting points. Great. Siege Magic is also ready. This should also affect our little babies we just got. We've also unlocked Skilled Raiders. Pillaging a province takes one less turn, so it's a one-turn endeavor, and yields 20% more rewards. I believe this was 50% prior to the patch. And Pillaging units are healed for 20 hit points. I've used this once in a campaign mission, and it felt very good for this specific reason. The healing was amazing. And I guess the gold was too much if they nerfed it. Let's get some Lesser Magma Spirits out and running. Our mana income has bolstered up quite a lot. Ah, you provide 20 mana per turn. Excellent, excellent. And we'll get a Mage's Guild here in Smog's Hold eventually. Methinks. We'll see. We have a mana node up here. We have a mana node over here. Oh shit, that's a lot of mana. Um, We might want to build a city over here. I don't know, I think I should go this way. And build a city. Awesome. Oh, this is an amazing spot. We're going over here. This is our next city. Okay. How are we doing? We're heading over to the Storm Giant. I should be building roads. This should be an easy auto. And it was. And now we're going to wait one turn on our terrain for the healing. We're going to go join the squad. That's a full stack. We should probably... What are we looking here? Let's get the Steel Shaper out and put her here. The Steel Shaper will join our king under the mountain. Because to be honest, I feel like the Pyromancer is just not worth it. I have not been very impressed. I might like... I might pretend I'm playing Age of Wonders 3 and send them all to freaking guard the cities or something. In Age of Wonders 3, people could just take your city by grab by standing on top of them if you had nothing on it. It's kind of weird how they've shuffled around, like, their desire for defense. Because in 3, if nothing was guarding the city, like, if nothing was... None of your armies were literally on top of it, then... Hello. Look at you. Well, that might be the order aspect. Can I check? It is the order aspect. Wow, okay. Not bad. You know, Golden Order, Order Aspect, it all fits. Yeah, sure. And you have a champion. Great. Um, in Age of Wonders 3, any city that wasn't defended by, like, a physical, real unit could just be taken over by standing on top of it. So, there's actually a very good way to make use of, like, Tier 1 units that have been leveled up that you didn't want to just delete. Uh, we want more gold mines. So, build that there. Every gold mine should be here. Every gold mine we can afford, anyway. What do we need for the next tier? Wait, did I get it already? Oh, okay. News to me. All right, we have two steel shippers out. We have our bastions. Do I just build more bastions? Build another one. Why not? I am not going to hurry this. I wouldn't mind the channeling chamber, and I definitely want this. So. Our queue will look like the monolith into the merchant's guild. And we'll throw in the tower whenever I can afford it. But I want to get the academy. I need a research post, so this can become a research post. Wait. Okay, we'll wait one turn, and then we'll put this over to a research post. Because this needs a conduit in order to build it. Are we chilling? Yeah. yeah, we're chilling. Big chilling. So we are still looking for the Scald. <laughs> I'll find her eventually, probably. I hope. But soon. 
She'll be our primary support unit. We'll have these steel shapers just to kind of show off what they can do. There is also a new enchantment in the Dragon Tome, which I do plan to go to for battle mages and for supports that could make them actually offensively useful, mildly. King under the mountain, Smaug the Terrible, your heroine. Afraid of the spearhead kneels before you, distressed. My little sister, she went dowsing for precious stones, yet has never returned. She migrated to Erebor when you recruited me. She has been prospecting for precious stones and metals since she was a wee girl, carrying around an oversized dowsing rod. Recently, a faraway gold vein has caught her attention. Normally, my sister returned to the sizable hall within three days. Today is the eighth day since she left. Frida the Spearhead's eyes turned misty. Will you help me find my sister, my king under the mountain? I worry for her safety. Let me mark the gold vein on your map. I will look for the gold vein. I mean your sister, Frida. I'm sure she's fine. It would be on the other side of where I'm going. We. Oh. And I guess I can kick this person out. I did talk about having two of these anyway. The road gore begins. This should be... Good enough. The evoker's robes. Now... Now that the monsters of the gold vein have been slain, the surviving miners come out of hiding. We owe you our lives, foreigner. Their master prospector begins to say, Take a look at our treasury. Name any item and it shall be yours. We'll leave this perilous place and return to our homes. The master prospector wants to thank you with a gift from their guild chest. Materium boon, money, 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 money. Uh, money. This isn't a lot of money. Money. Now, technically, we didn't really need that money, but Smaug would never ask for anything but money. So here's the question. Do we split or do we keep our armies together? Hmm. We can summon the lesser magma spirits. Now these guys are decent. They're they're just little ranged baby elementals, but they will evolve into a bigger elemental. The tier three magma spirits. Which can be quite powerful. And initially I wasn't going to use these guys because like, oh, elemental magic, Smaug wasn't really magical or anything. But Smaug is living fire. If he wants to make elemental flames, who's gonna stop him? Nobody. Wow, I went. I threaded the needle there. Uh, so that's why I ultimately decided to hold them up. So thank you. Someone left a comment specifically about that. So thank you very much. You have convinced me. You have shown me the light. Uh-oh. And um, henceforth, we will be building them. Making them. Spawning them. Also, they cost mana upkeep instead of gold upkeep. So, you know. One tile shorts. All that movement and you're still a tile shorts. Have we seen only one free city? We have, wow. Uh-oh. Um. I'm not going to be able to catch up to land six. He's at 54 allegiance. Well, okay. Probably should have checked on that sooner, to be honest. <laughs> That's okay. Huh. Alright, well, I guess we'll go with, with this one. Deal for your chant is something that someone mentioned for, you know, manipulating the industrious effects to the best of your abilities. All friendly units in a one hex radius lose all stacks. Oh, this is all friendly units. Okay. All friendly units lose all stacks of bolster defense and bolster resistance. For each stack they lost, they gain one strengthen and one fortune. So if we're all standing together, huddled next to our bastions, which are providing us uh, with nearby stuff in their shield wall mode, 
that's not how that works. Hmm. This one. Yes. So if they buff everybody with this, we can then convert them all into like 10-20% damage. Which, you know, adds up. It's not bad. I think I just go for the Forge Tower. Yes. I guess we can have a Ritual Pyre. <laughs> what we could do... <laughs> that's funny. We could build a Ritual Pyre here and a Ritual Pyre here. And they would buff each other. But this is going to be a gold mine. So. Yeah. Decent idea. Maybe we'll find another spot for that. How's the model doing? Okay, model is good. We can convert this to research posts. Because the model, the model will finish before that thing converts. We can also change it back later. Smaug has reached level 12. This is a huge point for the Dragon Lords. I think we're good. I kind of want to see all Dragon Scales scale. But I'm pumped. Hmm. Let's grab fighting. Because we're going to need this. Alright, so level 12. Does anyone else feel like Smaug leveled very quickly? Because I feel like he did. Level 12 is when you get access to your major draconic transformation. So... I'll go over all of them, but I'm only going to show you the one I'm going to take. The Astral Transformation, unit gain to the Ethereal Unit Type. Its Breath Attack increases its size, becomes part Lightning Damage if not an Astral Dragon, has a base 70% chance of inflicting Stunned, and always inflicts Electrified. That is nutty. The Chaos Transformation, unit gains the Fiend Type. Its Breath Attack increases in size, becomes part Fire Damage if not a Chaos Dragon, has two separate base 60% chances of inflicting a random negative status effect and will always inflict burning. Wow. The Materium Transformation will give us the Elemental Unit Type. No. That's not going to affect Undying, is it? The Breath Attack increases in size, becomes part physical damage if not a Materium Dragon, has a 70% a chance of inflicting Gilded and always inflicts Bleed. The Nature Transformation, unit gains plant type. Its breath attack will increase in size, become part blight damage if you are not a nature dragon. Grants two regeneration to friendly units, hits, and always inflicts decaying, and always inflicts poisons. This is the only nature transformation that I make sense for Alex Raza and Yasera. That's it. <laughs> because Alex Raza's breath literally heals people, despite it being fire. So... Order Transformation, unit gains the Celestial Unit Type. Its Breath Attack increases in size, becomes part Spirit Damage, if not Order Dragon, heals friendly units by 25 temporary hit points and removes their negative status effects, and has a 90% chance of inflicting Distracting. I guess you could go with this one for Alex Raza as well, but the aesthetically, this doesn't make sense for her. Because it turns you into like an angel, I think. And last, but certainly not least, the Shadow Transformation. Unit gains the Undead Unit Type. Its Breath Attack increases in size, becomes Frost Dragon, if not Shadow. It becomes part frost damage if you're not a shadow dragon. Inflicts two weakened, has a 70% chance to inflict frozen. Heals this unit by five temporary hit points per unit hit. And burning is replaced with ghost fire. Cool. That's new, right? I wonder if they're going to work this into tomes eventually. Anyway, those are all the transformations. They all have a significant aesthetic effect on your character as well. And you may have been able to guess it, but we are going to go with the materium transformation. Smaug is going to gild the world. The world will not only be burnt, but that fire shall be used to smelt and forge everything into glittering gold. Boom. Blood of a dragon. So the transformation uh, did this to us, which kind of makes sense, sort of. Um, because Smaug, of course, laid in a pile of gold and gemstones and diamonds in order to harden his own skin. Well, specifically his underbelly, which is weak. But, you know, I thought this made sense lore-wise. 
and the Chaos One While All Good and Fun um, uh, turns you into a demon, which again, not very appropriate. That's a lot of money. Province improvements grant plus one city stability for each adjacent province improvement of the same type. I haven't really built for that. This is still messed up, I see. <laughs> Um, I think we just save our Imperium team. He might want Call of Chaos. I want this, I think. Because we will be expanding soon. Soon and swiftly. Alex Straza has declared friendship with Land 6. Land 6 has declared friendship with Alex Straza. Okay. And Landsex is happy that we share a friend in the Dragon Queen. The High Throne. That's appropriate, right? Kinda. I think I'll send... I think I'll send Frida to go find her own sister. This is what I'll do. In that event. While we keep building disgusting roads to the mountains. Oh, darn. What's the thing here? An inferno puppy. Aren't you adorable and in the fucking way? Oh, that's an easy auto if I've ever seen one. Really? Game. Now, there is something we could do. What the heck, game? Um, there is something we could do to alleviate my concerns of trying to level these guys up. And that's... Really? Okay. Well, I guess we're waiting a turn. That is the other, or the first Draconic Tome that I skipped over. Great. The first Draconic Tome that I skipped over has an enchantment that applies only to ev evolution units, where any unit that evolves will gain resurgence. So if, you, if it dies, but you win the combat, it will come back. Throw the needle again. No. Okay. I would like to meet this final player. Ooh. Got a weird thing going on here. With Emil. This looks dangerous. Oh, I walked away from the watchtower. Whoops. I guess you could go exploring. I mean, you can't prospect, but... Good. Rita has leveled up, and she is going to gain... I guess you're leading your old army now. So, it can be inspiring. Our, our lovely horde is 132-132. Not bad. Still no tier 4 items, however. Were you gifted items finally? You were fantastic. A golden wyvern mount. Don't mind if I do. A unicorn. Sure. The horde grows. A frost great axe, fantastic. Have you refreshed? No. How about who else was okay with me? Huh. You're my friends. Well, you think you're my friends. Oh, there we go. Really? Should I befriend the Archdemon? That sounds kind of fun. He's made quite a complicated path through here, and I need to go south. Oh, he's got Berserkers rolling. All well and good.
Oh, wow. Okay. Got a blob. Alright, little dude. I should have built roads with you. He's gonna go lead the way. You're gonna follow. You are going to go over here. And we're gonna summon more stuff in time. Your orders are required. Your orders are to sit here in my city and do nothing. Would you be useful elsewhere? Maybe. Will you be useful elsewhere? Probably not. Hey, Malifor. What's up? You have a bone daddy. This guy is also exploring. He's heading towards our next city destination. We could actually, what we could do is find the right button, first of all. Recruit another hero. Dogger the Cure. Hmm. Your arrogance. Alright, sure. Dogger the Cure. I have a staff for you. Or not a staff, but I have a... A satirical orb for you. Yeah, sure. A Dowie caster. It's fine. Mildly heretical. But only mildly. I don't know if I want to give this to you. I guess we could. Remember, everything we give him reduces our income. So, I think we'll just leave it at that. And your stats were what? Ooh. Channel power. This could be okay. What if we make him the leader of our magma spirits? That sounds fun. Wow. You can go really far. I guess the wyvern is fast for a reason. But uh, the main thing he's going to do is he's going to go establish the city. That's what he's going to do. I mean, this one's tagging along with our, our king. but Was tagging along with our king. Let's, let's do our first fight since the major transformation. The AI is going to keep killing this thing. It's very annoying. Hey, Smaug. You're nice and spoopy. So, what we can do... You here. You there. You go here. We can get our stone shapers. Steel shapers, even. And they can both grant defense to our king. And then he can do this. Boom. You're going to chill back here. All right. Now, Smaug should have 50% defense. 14 defense. How much is this? Oh, he lost some. Darn. It has quite a lot of diminishing returns, so. While impressive, probably wasn't even more than 70%. So our new Dragon Breath is bigger. And might even kill them. Let's see. Bleeding. Gilded and gilded. Oh, is it a triple guild? You love to see it. Unfortunately, can't get too much out of that. I mean, we could cast a spell. Guess we cast this one. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> You're going to chill back here. So I think I got gilded on... Oh, no, no, no. You are not going to chill back there. Because this guy's not gilded. I gilded... Who did I gild? You are gilded. You... You can see down here now. That's why they moved the arrow. Uh -huh. That is a triple gild. Not bad. Only the tier 1 units were not gilded. Huh? I can do that too. Bullshit defense removed. Then I can do this. Then I can do this. 
probably don't do it. Probably not worth it. Then we can steal Fury Chant. Five times strength and fortune. And now I can fuck. Now we're here to fuck. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Just hit that guy. Just hit him good. Yeah, so that's kind of how you're supposed to play, I guess. Um, you're kind of off to the side. Can you kill him? Oh, not quite. But you can pin them both while doing this, so it's fine. Go that way. Go that way. Okay, not too bad. I should have done that before I breathe on them, but... There was, certainly would have been value in retaining the defensive properties we had. Double kill. But, you know, offense is fun. I have a feeling the Bastions are going to be a huge, important part of our game plan here. Why does your guys' movement suck? What did I do to deserve this? Hello. I am shocked. Okay. Let's give this a shot. Now, this is a pretty spooky fight, uh, to be honest. And we are definitely going to need to heal here. And prepare accordingly. What does this do? All floating and non-flying attacking units suffer 20 physical damage. Oh, dear. Okay. I see how you died then. Maybe I should have done, um... This... Feels like such a waste. Fuses on this guy, but I'm going to. Okay. That's the the combo, by the way. The back and forth of the steel shapers. The ebb and flow. Um, I guess I could bring these guys here. Yeah. I don't know. Mute to burning. Yeah, that's fair. We'll have plenty of those guys soon enough. What the f... No, 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 no. Oh, dear. Um. Hmm. That is very bad. On a scale of 1 to 10, that is a 12 on bad. I'm not even going to convert that. I'm just going to keep it as... As it is. Uh oh. How come the golden golems of the enemy roll? Oh shit. Uh, row gilded instantly, and I don't. Yeah. Okay. Well, so much for that. How much bolster defense do you have? 
Five, okay. I have one Steel Shaper left, and with her final breath... What will surely be her final breath? She's gonna do that. Then I'm gonna do this. Then we're gonna do this. Please stun. There was a chance I got gilded there. That would have sucked. Okay. The Spawnkum. Good crit. This could be a full wipe. Like, I think the Bastions are thick enough. But everything else is gonna die. I swear to the Dark Gods. How many times can one man be gilded? Fuck me, sideways. If I can kill him with the Ignite, I'll take it. I can. I have two bulls of defense. What is your gilded chance on attack? Do they increase it? 60%. I feel like that was not that high before. I have to start killing this. And it got gilded? What the fuck? Gilded again? No. No. No, no, no. No. This is dumb. I object. This is what I wanted to do to other people. <laughs> he gilded me a third fucking time. Team. I disapprove. I disapprove tremendously. My approval has never been so low. I can't kill it. Oh my goodness gracious. I am tilted. <laughs> I have been tilted. Good job, game. We're going home. Nope. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. So how... Let's ask ourselves, how do we stop that from happening? Well, that's a great question. Um... There are a few ways. There's the skull. Uh, she won't help us with that, but we can get her. And you better believe we will. We could go into... I think I want this. The Warding Tome, as some suggested. Because we can use that to bolster our resistance, which should reduce our chance of that happening, I think. Do I have to get status effects, specifically? Blint and Lamsex are friends. Uh, you're ready for the next diplomatic state. But um, as I'm role-playing, I'm not paying you gold for anything, so. You know. There's that. I think I need more Bastions. <laughs> they held up so well. They did the work. Boost up that research. See if it helps. You are going for this. That's fine. This will transform next turn. Do I pump that out or do I just leave it? I think I might leave it. Well... Hopefully, that was a glimpse of what we're going to start doing to people. My guess is no, because that didn't happen 
in the Elway playthrough. Every Gilded was sheer dumb luck. What is your status resist, by the way? Six. That's not awful. We can, of course, get more here. Not a whole lot more, but we can grab that without having to delve any deeper into battle magic. Um, I think I, I should have done this last turn if I was going to do it this way. But I think I am going to build an outpost here. Because it's going to take a while before we're, you know, expanding over here. So we'll outpost this. Okay. Just making sure I'm going to stay within my domain. Okay. Well, I hope you have a better, a better time. Not that you can reach it. And you, my dude, heading down here. So rebuild it. I think so. Actually, if I build it here, if I build a city on this one. This can be a gold mine. Gold mine, gold mine, gold mine. Gold mine. Okay. Just one tile over. It is. Nice. Go here. Oh. Sorry about that. Okay. Sorry about that. All is well in the realm. I'm still salty about that gilded thing. Did I prospect everything over here? Guess we're just heading this way. I'm trying to find our final opponent. We would find the last one most relevant to Smaug. Or the one most relevant to Smaug would be the final one. I wonder if Giant Slayer makes it so that... Because like I said, I have never seen Gilded proc that many times before. And I wonder if just Giant Slayer proccing increased the chances of that? Or maybe... I don't know, actually. Oh, I was hoping... Blood Ray Weapons is ready to go. Whenever we... Why are you here? Whenever we kill a unit, we gain morale and one strengthened. Which is not... Which is fine. Blint would like a defensive pack for free. You know what? Sure. Do you have more items for me to buy? No. Vision? Nice. Do you have more items for me to buy? No. Okay. I guess our friendships are being uh, drawn here. We have vision, finally. Oh, there's another free city down here. I haven't met them, met them, but they're down there. Okay. I mean, Alex Strauss is expanding well. She has four cities already. I am uh, behind... Let's go see our sister. Uh, she would like me to have a friend, direct relation of friendship with Lansex. Unfortunately, my money is like so expensive. I mean, I could afford it, but it doesn't change the fact that it's so expensive. You have a lot of a lot of units, Dragon Queen. Is it a hero? No, it is. What level are you anyway? Seven. So she's five levels away from the, uh, well, she went with that tome. From her big decision. Place your bets on if the AI is going to ruin it or not. All right. Final term, team. Upon arrival at the gold vein, it becomes clear that the spawn of a caustic worm hatched just a few days ago. The gold vein is overrun with the writhing bodies of the young caustic worms. Their corrosive mucus oozes into the nearby fissures. The screech of their sire can be heard echoing from deep tunnels from which the young caustic worm hatched. The young caustic worms have been feasting on Gortusk piglets, judging by the partial dissolved remains that litter the area. How could anyone survive this infestation? It is foolish to believe that Frida the Spearhead sibling is yet alive. My gold vein. He did well. 
A dwarven hammer. Your troops search the area in tunnels. When they pass a crack beneath the gold, central gold vein, someone whispers, Are they gone? A steel shaper crawls out of her hiding spot. I knew someone would come looking for me eventually. I hid down there for days, I think. Eating larvae and slimy moss to survive. The girl chuckles and produces a satchel. But it was worth it. The tunnels surrounding this gold vein are teeming with rubies. The steel shaper sighs gratefully. For rescuing me, please accept the treasure I discovered. My skills are at the service of King under the mountain. Smaug. Yes, gold veins known for their rubies. So we can get a turn of knowledge. A steel shaper. Well, we're not getting good boy points. Do we get a turn of knowledge or a bunch of production? A bunch of production. Of course. That finishes off the merchant's guild. And we'll get started on the academy. And the apex. Maybe other way around. No, no, no. Do this first. We can even expand. Would you look at that? Lots of mana notes here. We're going to grab this farm so that we can go over here. Look at that. Should you clear all this out? I feel like you need friends. Oh. Okay. Unexpected. They do say to expect the unexpected, but oh boy. Now we don't have the hyper carry. That is our dragon lord, but we do have a lot of bastions. So what if we kind of chill out and we see what there is to see? Hmm? We see what uh, what spooked us. So okay, there's this, which is what. Every two turns, all defending units gain Rally and Fortune. Oh, I see. Okay. That's certainly something. Um, It could have been a Convert. I might wait one more turn. Although I do really want to get in there. Maybe I do this just to stall. Like, we go into a weird spot here. Because we're going to get hit by the skirmishers, right? Ooh. Good job, Pyro. Ooh. Now I want to go, but... Can't. Hmm. Right, you were just placed by that weird... These guys do a weird, like... Yeah, that one. Displacement. A weird displacement. What do you think it's called? Displacement. We could try and taunt them. Rest tier wood units. Okay, there we go. You'll take this position. Okay. Let's see how this does. That prevents them from doing anything silly. Oh, they're in for the heal. Okay. That's way better than it converts. Big damage. Big damage. Kill. Okay. The summon died. Guess well, it was a summon. I could go for the assassinates. I think I'm going to. Hmm. The anvil guard might be dead. That's fine. I don't really mind if the anvil guard dies, you know. You do have Giant Killer, but you appear to be quite the target for uh, our opponents. Will you displace? Excuse me. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we can do this this way. I mean, calculated. Perfectly calculated. I can even kill her with an Ignite, maybe? She's probably dead? Should I heal something? Hmm. Maybe I should heal... I don't really care about the Anvil Guard. If the Anvil Guard takes the focus, that's fine by me. I 
I'm definitely feeling. Do I try it? Death. It is the inevitable end that awaits all mortals, especially the sanctimonious idiots who presume to take my gold. Wait, were you stunned? You were. Why? Huh. Random, 60% chance for a random status effect, and it was the best one for them. Naturally. Good job. It is very unlikely this thing is going to move. You also got stunned. Okay, just auto this. There goes our summon. Punk. Good crit. You giant slayer? Nope. A giant slayer. That's okay. Alright, not bad, not bad. There was a silver tongue thing about over here. Nice. We are going to want to annex that. Eventually. Hmm, okay. You are continuing the great search. And there he is, the final player. Hail, King under the mountain, Smaug the Terrible. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Great King Bard the Second. Many god dear make war. I aim to make peace. A chivalrous diplomat. So Bard the Second was the first king of the Kingdom of Dale. Dale was a city-state outside the Lonely Mountain that was destroyed by Smaug twice. You know, as I said at the intro. And um, after Gandalf actually really wanted Smaug to be destroyed because he was afraid he would join Sauron, you know, under the right circumstances. Whether he would or not, I have no idea. I feel like he could have been incentivized, you know, with enough gold. But, um, maybe not. Anyway, <laughs> during the events of the War of the Ring, the Easterlings attacked Dale and both the king, or the ruler of Dale at the time, and the king of the dwarves who had reclaimed the Lonely Mountain all fought against them, but they both died. And King Barb II was the one who succeeded him and ultimately threw back the Easterlings with the assistance of the dwarves and established a new kingdom, basically. So he is a feudal, leading the men of Dale, a feudal culture, talented collectors and chosen uniters. I felt like Talented Collectors was good enough for a city-state on the water. You know? Or a kingdom now. He is a chivalrous diplomat, so he likes empires that have many alliances. He likes empires with good relations with free cities. And he dislikes empires that break treaties and empires that start war. Okay, his strategy is to form alliances to never break treaties, to explore, and to expand. There is a world in which we would befriend Bard the Second. But it looks like he's gone quite heavy into order. Uh, so it is unlikely. Because, of course, if Smaug came to the Lonely Mountain and took over the dwarves instead of decimating Dale and the dwarves, perhaps they would have gotten along. Perhaps. Who knows? Probably not. Smaug would just want more and more and more and more, right? Excuse me? Oh, yes. I was going to be summoning stuff here. And I kept forgetting. So this is going to become a city of the dwarves of Erebor. And it is first going to annex probably... It's going to take time for us to build everything up. But, I mean, there's a lot of gold here. And I love gold. Gold, gold, swimming in gold. So we can go ahead and chill here. That is going to be a gnarly stack. Well, it's actually not that bad, just the Phoenix. Because the Phoenix is, of course, resistant to fire. So we want to get our second Bastion down here as soon as possible. As we summon in more stuff, let's get our Scalds popping. We're going to want probably one for each army, at least. Probably. You are healing. 
and most likely going back home. And exit as well. Gold, gold. That pays for the upkeep of the thing. Do I think I could take this with just Smaug? I'm actually curious to find out. Shall we limit test? This isn't that scary. Let's limit test. A high risk battle. See how we do. You gotta meme it up a little bit for the final fight of the day, you know? I get to go first. So, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna want to position so we can't be flanked. And we want both Bastions at our side. Just like that. Now they're all going to come at us. But I'm pretty sure I'm just going in. Can I reach this? I can. Beautiful. So we're going to do that. Let's get our, you know, the drill. We're actually going to put him behind so he doesn't try and, like, flank us. And let's see if we guild. Are we as lucky as the random... We are pretty lucky. One... Two. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Yeah, that went pretty well. I would say so. I would say they went pretty well. Oh, that's the aura of chaos. That's right. Got it, yeah. All right, so they have created a perfect opening for me to walk in and tail swipe. <laughs> yeah, okay. Good job. Now, of course, that does put this guy on flank, which is unfortunate. Just by the movements, but um, it should be fine. Oh, he was stunned. Nice. He didn't get to do anything. Uh, so we'll kill with you. And we will get in position for another... See, this is how it was supposed to go against that one fight. That I just got gilded and sent. <laughs> let's go, Smaug. Let's go. There we go. Alright. Now we're just going to rest. We'll get our... Scalds going. We can pop out Bastions from here. We're trying to. To meet up with our team. I wonder, does Smaug just go Smaug, Bastion... Smaug Scald Quadruple Bastion. I'm not against it. Uh, where am I expanding? If I want to have mana... Be over here. Get a Forester here for the Blacksmith. Or the Armory, excuse me. Then probably Grand Mill. Makes sense to me. It would also make sense that he has... I mean, well, eventually, right, he'll have golden golems, loads of them. We've seen one already. Uh, eventually, that's what he'll have. But for now, like... Why not just have a legion of bastions? They seem really good. Exceptionally good. Here is our little exploration puppy. Uh, who has met with Doom. Doom. So, you've done well, thank you. You were 12 mana? What the fudge? And now we gain access to our Tier 3 Tomes. Now, I wasn't particularly happy with the Tier 2 Tomes, our choices, but we have a lot of choices in Tier 3. And I think we are going to end up getting the Tome of Devastation, mostly for the Flame Burst weapons. We can even get the Focus of Devastation if we want to. But um, we want Transmutation, Terramancy, and the Tome of Dragons. We're going to start with this one because, of course, it is new. Now, again, Smaug historically was one of the last, if not the last, great Drake in Middle-earth. So my process, my thinking here is that Smaug, if he were uh, more calm, collected, and, you know, ambition-driven, would look to resurrect the dragons and lead them to a new golden, literally, Age. That's my thinking. 
Few things invoke fear like the mighty dragon does. Channel this primal power, roost and brood it. Mold your people to the likeness of these mighty world shapers and breed dragon kin in your grand image. See how your enemies bow to your might or perish in flame at your command. Oh, I need to be very evil. Oh, well, we'll try and get there. But I was thinking like we just have a legion of fire dragons. <laughs> I'm not sure if you build these or if you summon them. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, lock the young dragon. Oh, that's expensive. We're going to lock young dragon. We're going to grab a draconian transformation. My thinking is that once we get... Oh, we also have the Kisito Chaos. Once we get the... The Draconian Transformation, it'll be like the takeover of the Dwarves of Erebor will be complete. They will no longer be Dwarves. They will now be Smaug's hands and feet only. Found a city. You grab the mine. Fantastic. Arcanium more acquired. Do I have all of them now? No. We're missing a Fireforged Stone. Before we had the Rings of Binding. This should affect our Lord as well, right? Um, where would I find a Fireforged? I saw one. Um, not here, though. One over here? We'll have to take a peek. Oh, maybe... Was Alex Shaza selling that? Focus crystals. Were you selling one? No. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, two items. 69, nice. 69, nice. 69, nice. And the Storm Orb is tier 3, so it's actually a better orb for our Dowie Spellcaster. Our our Dowie Rune Rune Master. We'll just call him a Rune Master. That's more appropriate. Okay. I have so many items. 159, 150. How, how big of a number do you think I can make this? Can I get to four digits? Maybe. Mayhaps. We have the Rune Leggings, but you've also leveled up. You did well. Uh, you're leading your own stack now, so I think it's time we really... Start pumping up your support. You're already hitting quite hard. I am quite happy with it. Wish if we can find a tier 4 item for you. That'd be juicy. Smaug. My king. I think... Do I want bolstering? I think I just go defense. An evading dragon sounds fun. We might have to use our one reset. To get all the warfare I want. We're definitely doing... Oh, wait. Hold on. I also wanted this, didn't I? But we'll see. I think I want Defensive Master, and I want Killing Momentum. And there's one more thing in Warfare we're going to get eventually uh, that I want to make sure we can grab as well. Raising Cities grants one pop. Eh. For every three that was taken. Irrelevance. Green Draft. We can use it in a pinch. But other than that, I think we're looking... We want this one. We aren't at any war yet, but, you know, Ysera, Malifor, Arthemiel... Land sex, they're all... I mean, even Bard, the second, is... Kind of... I definitely want Provincial Architect for 14 turns from that. And Right of the Dreadnought eventually. One hit point per two movement. Yeah, that that's not bad. Is it worth 400 Imperium? I don't know. We definitely want Martial Ancestry. Defensive pack between Blint and Alex Straza. Lansex and Blint have declared friendship. The Pact of Loyalty is done, but this is about to be eaten by Lansex. So we could use this as an opportunity to get additional grievances. If we wanted to. Like if we declare him rival, fabricate a grievance, and then he takes this from us while we're contesting the diplomacy, that could be a way to get a justified war. Um... He's kind of accessible. Sort of. I'm interested to see how the underground looks here. Doesn't look more manageable. Something to think about, though. You can let me know. Blint likes my diplomatic approach. Since when do you like diplomacy, Blint? Who are you? You are pleased to see that we have a friend in Blint, yep. Yeah? Good diplomatic approach will assure victory. Yeah, 
That's what it's gonna do, Alex Strasser. I was insulted. Yes. Good, good. Soon. Is it 50 for Major? Or justification. 51. Soon. All you have to do now, Alex Draza, is build... Build a, a seed. Do it. I dare you. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to deal with that eventually. But that is it for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Feel free to let me know what you think of the new approach, the new strategy. And if it is actually fitting with Smog, or if I'm just pulling stuff out of thin air. I mean, I kind of am, but I'm trying to make it all fit together in the end. Thank you to the patrons and the channel members who support the channel. I greatly appreciate you. And if you would like to say everything happened channel, feel free to join the Discord description down below. And I will see you next time when diplomacy could become war. Bye.